Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing some more leather working. I'm gonna make this leather tote bag for my wife. This is the largest leather project I've done so far. It'll take me about 14 hours to hand stitch this whole bag. Now for this video, I'm not gonna be talking about what types of techniques I'm using and how to do it and explain everything. I've done several other leatherworking projects. If you need to know more about how to do leatherworking and how to do the stitching, go check out my other videos up in the top right corner right there. You can see a link there. That has a few other videos that explain what I'm doing a lot more. Now for this one, I'm gonna be going through and just basically showing you what I'm doing and not narrating about it as much. Now this bag is done completely by scratch, just coming up with it myself. So I created a outline for how this is supposed to look out of paper. And that way I can test it out before wasting leather and cutting pieces up and then finding out it doesn't work. Now I've got the largest section of leather done. This is what creates the bag itself, the body of the bag. So I'm gonna stitch this together eventually. First, I need to cut out a few pockets to go on this bag to dress it up a little bit and to make it more functional. On the inside, I don't want just a huge opening where everything falls into. I wanna have a couple pockets. So I'm gonna first cut that out of paper, make sure it's the right size and will look good on the bag. And then I will start cutting out the pieces of leather. Now I have one pocket done. I need to create another identical pocket for on the inside of the purse and one for on the outside. Now that I've gotten those exactly the same, they need to line up perfectly in order to line up the stitching when I'm ready to attach them to the purse. Next, I need to create a smaller pocket. This will be for smaller items, maybe keys or a cell phone, and that will go on the inside pocket stitched to that large pocket. Now I'm gonna take a few scraps of leather and I need to make two loops. One I'll have stitched together on the inside of the purse as a stationary loop that you can hang things like hand sanitizer or keychains on that are gonna be stationary in the purse. Now I'll have another loop that is actually gonna have a snap on it. This will be perfect for things that you take out regularly like car keys, you can easily snap it in place and unsnap it. So I'll make two of those loops and I'll be able to assemble that later on. Now the last piece of leather I need to cut out before I start assembling is the handles or straps for the bag. Now that all the pieces are cut out, I need to start prepping the lines where I'm gonna be stitching. Now 
Now it's time to assemble, and I'm gonna use a little bit of super glue just to hold the pocket in place while I punch the holes and start stitching. Now it's really helpful to work on the small things first and assemble everything before you close in the bag because it's gonna get much more difficult if you wait till after to start stitching the pockets on the inside. Once the bag is together, you can't see what you're working on as easily. So I'm gonna put all the pockets together, stitch those to the purse, and then I'll close it up at the end. Now, like I mentioned before, I'm not going into detail on how to do the stitching. You can go check out one of my other videos if you need to learn more. I'm using a saddle stitch. I use the same technique on my phone case as well as the knife sheath. If you wanna go check that out in the top right corner of this video, click on that. You can go to the link on that phone case and find out more how to stitch. Now, hand stitching takes forever, so I'm just gonna speed this up and try to go through this pretty quickly. Now I've got all the holes for the outer pocket already punched. The inside pocket has not been punched yet. I wanna make sure I line this up and get the registration on this perfectly so that the stitching and everything lines up. Now there's one more step I need to do before stitching the pocket up. I forgot to do this before gluing the pocket down, but it should be fine. I'll be able to just barely fit in there to put the snap on. Now this is the loop I was talking about before for keys and such that you're gonna be taking off and taking out of the purse regularly. You can easily snap it down and then remove the snap to take your keys back out. Now stitching through three and even four layers of leather is a lot. Sometimes it's really hard to get the needle through. So I've already gone through and punched the holes, but leather tends to close up over time. So I have an awl right there to spread the hole to make sure I can get the needle and thread through like I need to.
Now I'll start stitching the bag up and on the sides I'm going to be using a style stitch as well but instead of having the two edges flat together like you see right here I'm actually going to be overlapping them and still doing a saddle stitch through it holds really well and it'll look really nice too once I'm done. Now I'm going to start assembling the handles and to do this I'm going to spread rubber cement over the leather and then fold the handles in half and put clamps on it and let it dry overnight. The rubber cement is more flexible than super glue and over time handles get lots of wear and tear so I need it to be flexible and hold together really nice. So I'm going to put a couple clamps on it and let it dry overnight and then come back for the stitching. Now the stitching took forever on this. It was about three and a half feet for each strap and that's together seven feet of stitching just for the two handles on this purse. So I felt like I was doing this for hours and hours hand stitching these together. I'm just using a simple saddle stitch all the way down on this.
Once I'm done stitching the handles to the purse, I'm gonna create four patches to go over those handles where they're connecting to the purse and make it look a little bit neater and dress up the purse a little bit. Now the last step before this bag is done is conditioning and sealing the leather. Now the first step I'm going to be doing is adding a coat of cleaner and conditioner for the leather. This soaks in and softens the leather, preserves it over time, it keeps it from drying out. And if you have old leather purses or shoes, this actually softens the leather, makes it look nice and keeps it from cracking. So this is really good stuff. I also will be adding on top of this a sealer, more of a protective layer over the top. It seals in that conditioner and keeps moisture out and keeps the purse from drying out as well. Here's the finished bag. This is a Christmas present for my wife, so I allowed her to have a sneak peek at it before putting it away for Christmas. So she got to test it out and she loves it. So soon she'll have it for Christmas. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. And if you have any comments or suggestions or questions about this process, let me know in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you wanna be notified when I upload a video each week, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon right below it. And that will send you a notification when I upload a new video to YouTube. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.